And from Mayor Joe Hogsett may help local music venues survive the continued pandemic. Many of Marion County's most popular venues are suffering, even as shows return. CBS4's Mike Sullivan explains what this will do for them. The lights, the cameras, no action. Being the first to close and, and last to open is a, is a big wide gap for us. It's no surprise that roughly 25 live music venues in Marion County are hurting. It's been a hard thing to come in here to empty rooms every day. Josh Baker co-owns Hi-Fi in Fountain Square. Man, pre-pandemic, you know, we're six nights a week, 300 people plus. As the closings began, he and 45 other venues statewide from the Indiana Independent Venue Alliance. Working and helping consult the venues on best practices from a safety standpoint. Across the street, Square Cat Vinyl is one. We're looking at 80% revenue loss since COVID-19 started. The city was one of their biggest supporters. We were you know, kind of consulting and advising them on how critical it was with these venues, um, down to the financials of a lot of the rooms. Today, Mayor Joe Hogsett announced a new grant program a $125,000 cash pool to help venues with overhead costs. Well, it'll help with our, uh, our rent, utilities, uh, ordering new records, things like that. While grateful. Because no one else is stepping up and offering that. $125,000 split amongst 25 locations only goes so far. Some are a million dollars in debt. We're on the hunt for more. As are artists. The number one piece of feedback that we get is that, that folks want to be outside. Hi-Fi has canceled 200 shows and now leans on local artists still willing to perform. Now we also have 25 rooms that are also programming from the same pool. Dalen Realty gave them a back lot and in just two weeks. Got this um, you know, incredible 40 foot custom built uh, container stage that I've never seen anything like it. Masks are required to enter and must be worn 20 feet from stage. We do the same protocols inside and out. Perhaps this funding can keep the beat going. In Fountain Square, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News.